Tonight at 10, it's understood Roman Abramovich suffered symptoms of a suspected poisoning at peace talks over the war in Ukraine earlier this month. Sources close to the owner of Chelsea Football Club say he had sore eyes and skin peeling. Two Ukrainian negotiators were also affected. It does appear that there are organophosphates, aka nerve agents, involved, and uh, we really need to see the medical records. Ukraine's president says he wants peace without delay and would discuss a neutral status for his country as part of any deal with Russia. Peace talks are expected to resume tomorrow in Istanbul, but for now, the war here in Ukraine rages on. Some of the other leaders have said that if they intervened in the war, if there was a no-fly zone, it could be World War III. Maybe. Maybe. But uh, if they don't close the sky, they will be next. Also tonight, shock at the Oscars. The Academy condemns Will Smith for slapping the comedian Chris Rock after a joke about his wife. Smith blamed the pressure of fame. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. And you got to smile and you got to pretend like that's OK. The first police fines over parties held in government buildings while COVID restrictions were in place are expected tomorrow. And the city of Shanghai, with 25 million people, goes into lockdown after a dramatic rise in COVID infections. And coming up in the sport on the BBC News Channel. Should he stay or should he go? England captain Joe Root gets the backing of interim head coach Paul Collingwood after another Test Series defeat. Good evening. It's been reported that the Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich and two Ukrainians have suffered a suspected chemical poisoning after peace talks over the war in Ukraine. It's alleged to have happened earlier this month on the border with Belarus. It's understood the Chelsea football club owner, who's thought to be acting as a go-between in the negotiations, suffered sore eyes and skin peeling. The two Ukrainians affected and Mr Abramovich have all made a full recovery. Here's our security correspondent, Frank Gardner.